Nothing on paper. I'm not the all caps let. I am not the all caps name. If you do spell out my name, you spell out my first name with the first letter of each name capitalized, followed by all lowercase letters. I don't have a last name, I have a family name. I am not a corporation. Shout out to all the clean moors. What up? Shout out to the true moors. What up? There's always bad apples in the bunch. Nobody's perfect. Even some of God's chosen ones ain't perfect. If it wasn't for some of them individuals that I ran into in the Moorish movement, I would be fraudulently locked up right now. My life would be a thousand times worse than it is now. Who would have ever known that my own father would get me falsely arrested? That really blindsided me. That's after he robbed me. I had a verbal contract with that man for $7,000. He breached that verbal contract. That story's for another day, but my own daddy did me dirty. And that's, uh, and that's not including the $1,000 that I paid my daddy just to read some paperwork for me. I said, Daddy, I got a cool situation. It's very important. I'm dealing with this dude who's a narcissist. He's like God and the devil. He gives me good paperwork sometimes, but then sometimes he intentionally, willingly, and knowingly, fraudulently, maliciously, purposely, premeditatedly, sabotaged my paperwork, gave me wrong faulty law paperwork, Delayed me, forced me into circumstances, situations that delayed me, which, which, which made me, forced me into a situation to take on debt that I wasn't supposed to have to take on. This so-called paralegal was referred to me by one of my Coordinators that was supposed to be mentoring me and giving me direction and assistance on my recovery and rehabilitation when I got hit by a motor vehicle. He said, man, I see my friend. He look like he get money and he's and he's doing the real estate thing and, and it look like he knows what he's doing. I said, do you really know this guy? He said, yeah, I used to be his counselor. I told you I'm ten toes down for dummies. I never asked him what type of counsel he was giving him or what type of counselor he was at that particular time. I assumed that he was kind of being like a mentor to him like he was supposed to be to me. Little do I know that the person that he referred and brought into my life to help me with my legal situation, he never told me that this individual man that helped me in his individual capacity was a registered sex offender. 
Yeah. Well, listen, maybe the fact that it's not a registered sex offender doesn't totally make a person give you bad business and bad paperwork. But well, it gave you an idea of what type of person and what type of character a person is, and it would have gave you a better position and a better understanding and understanding on this life making pivotal moment choice that you're making and the people that you bring into your life. Narcissism, I ain't know nothing about narcissism. Gaslighting, I ain't know nothing about gaslighting. Projection, I ain't know nothing about projection. Narcissist supply, I didn't know nothing about narcissist supply. I just knew that this individual that was referred to me, having me running in circles, he was robbing me, cheating me, robbing me, fraudulently lying to me, giving me fraudulent conversation, giving me fraudulent documents, future faking me, uh, It's totally screwing me up. I said to myself one day when he just totally maliciously and nastily and, and I was like, damn, this guy's such a real dirt. This guy's a real dirt bag. I never encountered such a disgusting dirt bag like this guy. And I'm like, now this guy's like looking at my face, being a state dirt bag, and he's smiling like this shit is cute. Wait a minute, something is wrong. Is he trying to line me up to set me up to just try to beat him up or something? Or to attack him? Like, he's totally destroying my life and robbing me. In plain sight, with my eyes open while he's looking at me and I'm looking at him. And he's totally sabotaging me. And, 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 I was like, man, let me Google this guy, man. What the hell? I Google that guy, he ends up being a sex offender. I said, oh, shucks. I Google him even more. I find out that he sued the jail that he was in because he was trying to save his name. So Diallo, whatever the hell else his name is, that's not even his real name. That was his new name that he made after he became a sex offender and he was doing time for the sex assault crime. So he's gonna hide his name. Bomba Clyde. So, and then it was another lawsuit in there where he was suing the judge. I mean, suing, he was suing the precinct. I mean, suing the jail or prison because he got attacked in the prison and they were supposed to protect him. Well, I believe that. You know, sex offenders have a hard time in court. That's a fact. That's what I heard. I ain't going to say that's a fact. That's what I heard. Sex offenders? Yo. Not good. I heard it's not good for sex offenders. So... How many red cars are we going to see? How many white cars? Hey, somebody count for me the red cars and the white cars. Somebody also count for me how many cars that pass by that has somebody wearing orange and green. Look for orange. Look for the neon green. But yeah, man, this guy was a sex offender. I ain't even judging a sex offender. It's just that look at this crazy thing that happened. One time he did me so dirty with my legal paperwork because he's supposed to be a paralegal. I didn't know that the I didn't know the fact that I didn't know that he told me that he learned this law stuff because he works with because he works with some um he be working with these particular lawyers. I didn't know that he learned so much about the law because he was a sex offender and he was locked up and he sued the jail so many times to try to get financial help. And I mean, I find out where he's suing them for, for, for him getting hurt and all this stuff. And then he appealed the case and he and then 
remember, just yeah, everything is public record. It also shows that he kept going to court filing appeals to get his uh, sex offender level lower. And the crazy thing was, one day I told him, I was like, yo, the way you move is so ridiculous, so crazy, so malicious, so stink. I was like, you moving like a man that rape a girl, rape a lady, then for some crazy out of this world reason, she lets you get away with raping her and she forgives you. And then you go back and you rape her again. Because you like nuts. Because that's what I'm saying to myself. I'm like, yo, how can this guy do keep robbing, cheating stuff for me and then really show up to me like nothing ever happened? How many times he can make me forfeit court dates and tell me he's going to have paperwork ready for me at certain court dates? And then he don't even let you call in his phone. Don't even have it ready. And I pay for everything. And then he starts. Threatening me on the threat the resident coerce and talk about I'll make you lose your house and I'm like yo Wicked How many white and red cars? You got the lady with the Target bag way across the street over there. You wouldn't believe me if I told you she want me to see that Target bag. What I'm flabbergasted about is the hollow fact that she can see me and know that I'm all the way over here. And it seems like she see that shit with her eyeballs. So many school buses, there's no, there's no kids in the school bus. I'd be confused. All these school buses, I don't see no kids in the school bus. All rights reserved without prejudice in all places. All, all rights reserved in all places at all times. All rights known to me. All rights unknown to me. All my unalienable rights. All my inalienable rights. All my human rights. All my natural law rights. All my civil law rights, all my common law rights, all my natural law rights, all my universal law rights, all my maritime rights. I don't have a verbal or written contract with any individual. In preservation of all my rights and in, pres in preservation of the rights of indigenous people. I'm always making a special appearance, challenging the jurisdiction. Personal jurisdiction, subject matter jurisdiction, territorial jurisdiction. All three elements of jurisdiction must be in place for you to accuse me of a crime or to detain me. There must be a flesh and blood human being that can prove a tort or prove that I have caused them an injury or harm 
or damage. It must be physical. It must be proof. It must be evidence. And it must be a flesh and blood being. Not a corporation. It must be a sentient being in full life status. Not a corporate fiction. Not a corporate ward of the state. I am not a ward of the state. Impropria persona so juris and my own proper person. Age of majority I am, 18 years or older. I manage my own affairs and I am old enough to manage my own affairs. This case must be dismissed, signed and die with no case to return. This court has no authority. And no delegation from Congress. On oh, my tarot readers, you already know. Wow! I ain't had no breath on that one. But those that know, know. All the white cars, all the red cars. Seem like they don't make nothing but white, red, and black cars. And then if they mix it up, it's gonna be an orange car or a green car. Or a stealth gray car. What's going on here? Well, Aguan, we got some oregano oil. Oregano oil. Tea tree oil. And we got something from a black owned company that we bought in the store. Nails, hair, tonic. Zola's original. I think this is a nice, this is a, a, a woman of the sun, melanated being. Uh, I think her store is on Flatbush. This is one of the best mouthwashes in the world. If you ever see it, get it. All rights reserved without prejudice. Inpropria persona sojourners. In no places at all times, I reserve my rights. All rights known to me and all rights unknown to me. All my inalienable rights, all my unalienable rights. All my civil rights, all my common law rights, all my human rights, all my natural law rights, all my universal law rights, all my maritime rights. I don't have any contracts with anyone, verbal or written. If my wet ink... Signature is discovered on any document, I revoke my power of attorney invoking a rescission of signatures. All 
always making a special appearance to any assumed hypothetical jurisdiction challenging the personal jurisdiction, subject matter jurisdiction, territorial jurisdiction. In order for there to be a crime, there must be a flesh and blood being present that can accuse me that I have harmed them, injured them, or caused them any tort. So I cannot be brought into a court venue by a corporation. A corporation is not a person, it's not a being. It's a, people, it's a piece of paper. It's a legal fiction. Shout out to the sun. It's all about you. Shout out to the moon. It's about you too. Shout out to the earth. Wind. Fire. Water. Because it's about you too. Shout out to the ethers. Shout out to the ancestors. Shout out to Bobby Hammond. Shout out to Kalem Muhammad. Shout out to Stephen Biko. Shout out to the real Nelson Mandela. Shout out to the real Martin Luther King. Young Pharaoh, what up? Young Pharaoh is one of our leaders. Ain't none of us perfect. We all have a little bit of shortcomings. Because then they say something like it take a tribe or something like that to raise a boy or a baby. We got generals. We got leaders. We got prophets out here with no protection. We got prophets and leaders out here, teachers out here with no support. We got prophets, teachers, and leaders out here with jealous and envious and spiteful elders that don't want to pass over the touch. They set you up and put you in gang stalking programs. To all my smart people out there, go on YouTube, type in targeted individual. Type in chosen ones. This is a small world. They see everybody. They see everything that you do. If you're a smart person and know you're a smart person, trust me, they know about you. There's so many agents out here. Yo, listen, I live in Brooklyn. It's at least minimal of five agents on every single block. And when I mean agents, I mean somebody that works with the secret society, which is the same thing. Basically, it's saying working for the damn government. All they got is trust, and all they do is trust each other. Everybody else to them is a fool play. And everybody else to them, they must stop them. Satan comes to rob, kill, and destroy. Them secret societies, cults, covens, they gangsters. They ruthless. They kill us.
Human trafficking, sex trafficking, organ harvesting, killing their own family members for insurance money, crashing up their family members car for insurance money, identity theft, fraud, all for entertainment purposes only. I'm just talking hypothetical. Even though I don't like the word hypothetical, they use hypothetical jurisdiction on us in them courts. We guilty before proven innocent. The attorney's job is to turn you over. There's a lot of secrets that they ain't telling us. Go Google the word attorney. The root word of attorney is a turn. A-T-T-O-R-N. The word of turn means to turn over. That's one of the biggest secrets. That's why we filling up the prison industry, industrial complex, giving them free labor. Because they keeping a secret from us. Guilty until proven innocent. That's what it is for a colored boy, a Negro boy, a black boy, a Moor boy, a black and more boy, a Moorish boy, a dark skinned Caribbean boy, a dark skinned American boy, a dark skinned so called African boy. <clears throat> Our people perish for lack of knowledge and we perish because we got gatekeepers that make sure that we don't get that knowledge. They keep that veil over our eyes to make sure we don't rise. 